This is a video to show my understanding of how the cooling water flows through the Yamaha MR1 high output engine used in their jet boats and wave runners. This is the 6P6 engine found in the 2008-212X. It is a four-cylinder, four-stroke, dual overhead cam engine with displacement of 1,052 cc. It is generally considered to produce about 160 horsepower. During this video you will see yellow arrows which demonstrate my understanding of the direction of cooling water flow. Cooling water is fed to the engine by a pickup screen on the high pressure side of the impeller. You can view this screen by looking into the jet nozzle you will see a white screen at the 9 o'clock position. Water flows through the screen and the passages on the jet pump into a hose past the Y fitting until it reaches four distribution points on the starboard side of the engine. From left to right they are the oil cooler, exhaust manifold, engine block, exhaust manifold. Note that the oil cooler and engine block fittings are molded with restrictors. The majority of water is pumped into the lower exhaust manifold where it flows through the jackets. The water flows on the outside of the exhaust under the rubber boot and then returns to flowing inside a jacket in the exhaust pipe. It leaves the exhaust pipe one of two ways. One is the outlet on top of the exhaust pipe which goes to a hose through the bulkhead and eventually out the transom. The other is through three holes that dump directly into the exhaust gas. This is the first place the water and gases actually touch one another. The exhaust and water flow to the water lock located under the swim platform and eventually out the through haul fitting. Yamaha has provided a means of indicating there is flow in the exhaust system by placing a hose off the rubber boot and exiting a through haul fitting on the starboard side of the boat. In this picture, one of the two on the right hand side. If you tow or operate your boat above no wake speed with one engine off, it is possible for water to flow through the intake screen all the way to the water lock and then back up the actual pipe where the exhaust gases normally are. Water will flood the exhaust manifold and make its way to the exhaust valves. This would create a hydrolock condition and likely destroy your engine. Always clamp off the cooling line near the Y fitting of the non-running engine when towing or running on one engine. A portion of the cooling water under the rubber boot flows through the hose to the top of the oil cooler. Remember that raw cooling water is injected into the cooler also. These two combine, run through the heat exchanger, and flow out the front of the cooler into the top of the engine. Raw cooling water at the bottom of the exhaust manifold flows up into the exhaust header jackets. A small amount of water flows into the block through quarter inch holes at each of the exhaust outlets. The rest deadheads against the block and is forced out the lines located on top of the headers. A rubber hose carries it to the engine block. Remember, a restricted portion of raw cooling water also flows to the block in this same spot, probably to temper the heated water.
After cooling the engine, the water flows out the top and through a hose to the thermostat located next to the oil cooler. From here it flows two ways. Like the exhaust cooling indicator, Yamaha has provided a means of knowing you have water flowing through the engine. A hose carries this heated water to the through-haul fitting as seen on the left-hand side of this picture. The majority of the engine cooling water flows down in a hose through the bulkhead and eventually out a through-haul fitting on the stern. Since my understanding of the cooling system grew out of the chasing of an overheat issue, I decided to include some items that may be helpful to others. The cooling system is monitored by three inputs to the computer. They are an analog sensor located near cylinder number three, an on-off temperature switch located near cylinder number one, and an on-off temperature switch located on the exhaust pipe. Perhaps the most common cause for overtemp warning lights to come on is obstructions in the jet pump. This causes cavitation and low cooling water flow. There's simply not enough water to remove the heat and the temperature rises. Another item to check is for crimped cooling lines. In my case it turned out to be incorrectly molded Y fittings that left plastic flash inside which restricted flow. This was easily remedied by punching out the plastic flash with a 7 16 drill bit. Another item to check is the three holes on the exhaust pipe becoming restricted with salt or corrosion due to incorrect flushing methods. You can check the condition of the inside of your engine by removing the anoids on the starboard side and looking inside with a mirror and a flashlight. To recap how the cooling system works, water is forced through the intake screen, is distributed at four points, flows throughout the engine and the exhaust, and exits at the stern near the jet pump. Thank you for viewing my video on the Yamaha MR1 cooling system.